Hello and welcome back to Banish with the Mega Mods. And I had a lot of homework to do. More of it's Mega Mods, and there is a lot to go through in this sets. So I think that in this this today I will be going through all various different set things. There are some options here in some of these. It's always very tricky to find things again. Uh, so I had found a few lodging types. Uh, this is kind of nice maybe out here somewhere. It seems like it would fit kind of in the farming area or something like that. It might work out. Um, so it, considering some of the jobs are going to be out in the farms or right at the mines, this, this might be pretty nice. So let's get our first hostel down and that does not take any special supplies. There's also a couple other types of things. So we have, this was the colonial house set. Uh, somewhere in here. We have a whole bunch of things that are kind of interesting that I I would like to use in other places as well. Maybe not some of the this particular uh, shops, like this would still be nice, but not necessarily in town, but some of these buildings I think would fit pretty well in some places. But there's, like I said, there is a, a lot to go through. There's some of the small plantation stuff here. We have the mission, which has oh maybe maybe a few things here and there. There's there's not going to be variation to color, but we had gotten the garden out over here. We also have I think there was something over here. Yes, so we have a different option for. Houses, if we want to try doing some multiple level, and <laughs> there's a hacienda. That's seven people, very big, but there's also the other options of different greenhouses. So some of these things are not necessarily showing up in here. Some things are, however, but at least uh, not, all, not everything. And so some of these theme sets I probably never deal anything with, but... Oh, nice. Oh, this is raised. That's very interesting. You can make edging to things. I don't think it's... It is a ghost stuff, but don't know for sure. All right. So we also, let's see, where was it? Some, your B&B, I don't know what that is. <laughs> First I thought, oh, bed and breakfast, great. And yes, there is a bed and breakfast here. This looks pretty nice. I think I'd like to put this down for aesthetics. Maybe not right here, maybe somewhere down Oh, I don't know. It looks kind of... It's got the overhanging front door, so it, it implies city. But the tree and stuff doesn't quite make it that way for me anyhow. Alright, let's maybe turn this around. So we have a bit of a road or something going on probably in front of here. Let's see if I can somehow... Oh, look! Oh! If only... <laughs> it looks like it could fit right literally next to each other. Alright, so there's one of the other types. There's so many things in, in here that I kind of want to make sure I don't miss it. 
so I think it was one of this one. This had some interesting, maybe I wouldn't use necessarily all the colors, but I liked some of the houses in here. And I thought that that might fit somewhere, maybe over here. And I think these can get put kind of next to each other. So let's go ahead and get a couple of them. Oh, they're, they're gonna have a little bit of space in between each other. But those are also some nice cheap houses. So again, if you, if you are starting out, you can have some nice looking houses. You just kind of have to know where to look for some of this stuff. All right, so one of the other ones that I found down here is that there is the multi-layer hostel. I wish this would come in more than one color, but this is what we got here. And it's going to take wood and stone, so very affordable. And we could literally put it behind there. I think maybe we've Oh, I don't know, a little bit of space? Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a little bit just because we're gonna want the second floor. This will be the, the main one. Yeah, since I want to make sure that we have plenty of space. And that should be the last one. Yes. All right, there's the front. Yeah, I, I missed. I did something wrong with that one, too. So, <laughs> sometimes it, it pays to put down those, those roads first. That way you do not get confused with that. We're going nice and slow here, anyhow. All right, let's put that road in there. Themes, medieval houses, and hostel. All right, so now that should be... And maybe the footprint has changed a little bit on this. And it just looks a little bit different now. All right, so we got plenty of space for there. We will still be getting in some more houses. And so we have a lot of different types to look at under the themes. Let's see. We got also we got like row houses that you can stick one next to each other. Which is pretty nice if you're wanting to keep a good bit of buildings in, in a small space. There was some kind of different Maybe buildings in here. Various different sizes and shapes. A little bit different wood. Oh, here we go. We got some. We got ground, ground. We got different second floor stuff. And then we can go keep going up third floor and whatnot, fourth floor. I've never gone as high. Uh, high. I've not used any of these. And these go way up there. Sixth floor. This was a different hostel, but it was just, it just too big for me. So that is always a nice option. You can put some different buildings on the first floor and whatnot. We do need to think about getting maybe a butcher and stuff at some point. But we have... We just have the trade chickens at the moment. Getting some other stuff in will be pretty nice. I did like the school, although I wish it had a different roof type. So this is 14 kids. Not too bad. The spa. Cure 8 people. Okay, so it's just a little extra something there which might be kind of neat to put in somewhere not and not necessarily use it just kind of it's just it is 
I'm not sure where I'd want to do it. I'd probably want to do it somewhere. Oh, I don't know. Out here-ish. We do not have a road around that. I want to leave some space. Maybe get one out there. Last time we were getting our homewares and the building supplier being built. Homewares, we're going to take furniture in the furniture. No, no, the furniture or the fancy furniture takes the hardwood. I think it might be the fancy stuff. We'll need to think about what other kind of thing here. Pottery is easy, but we don't have a lot of clay. So we are going to need a furniture ma marker, maker, furniture maker to go with that. Got a joiner for furniture. All right. So if we want to keep up with that, we can put our joiner over there. Homewares does not need to have anyone in there. And we got a couple trades. <laughs> they have a trade chicken. We can also always trade in some things and get gold and then keep the gold and use it as a trading thing as well if we ever wanted to. But at the moment, we are not that tight on space. But it's an option. Clay is four a piece. That's quite a bit. All right, and llamas. I want llamas. I don't want to eat llamas, though. <laughs> we'll move on past that one over and get back on to looking up more things. I think one of these... I think one of these down here... Oh, it is a lot to look through. It was one of DS's... Oh no, it is actually, I think, the housings. So... That is the yellow one. And they have a whole bunch of the small ones, and you can make them slightly bigger, and some stuff that will fit together. So you can make some large buildings. And then, of course, they have some of the diagonals as well. Well, they have a village inn, which I like. Ugh, some of these things are kind of getting... I don't know. This one's kind of wood-ish. This one might fit nicely over here, too. It's gonna be kind of tight, I think, here. Let's go and do a bit of road first. So we got a little bit laid out there. I guess I'll have it go right along there. We have a bit of space here. I think I'll do maybe a little, a little bit of green space there. Have a little bit for bushes and something here. And then back to the DS, we can see if this guy will fit in there. And it looks like it will. Let's go ahead and add in a little bit more. Actually, you can maybe put in a little bit of space there too. If if things things are nice when they're close, but they're also hard to look at, so I like to leave a little bit of space in between. The in. Let's go back to there. <laughs> so, there we go. Another in for more people. I was thinking it would be good for beverages and whatnot, but maybe we can get a tavern or something right next to it because I just like the look of it. 
other thing is these townhouses are some stone stuff here and now that we got some kind of partially wood buildings here I might want to think about moving some of the townhouse stuff over in this direction thinking even maybe let's get our theme set I'm not sure if I need to have enough space for road things. So we'll do that. I'm going to go back to our DS gray or comfortable, as they put it. So we're going to have to leave a bit of space there, it looks like. So if we want to have that up a bit, we're going to have to do that and then stick in the houses and a little bit of road. I just thought it might be nice to have something out in front of them. We have the end piece. Oh, that needs to be flattened down over there too, doesn't it? So usually some most houses will just kind of flatten things on their own and make it kind of nice, but apparently not always. All right, let's get a one over there. So the medium has five people. This has four. I think I'll stick with a couple fours and then put an end to it. that gives us a bit of space. This is not going to be totally all planned out. I want to see kind of what fits where. Get that bit of road in. So building supply, let's go to that so we can get that guy kind of situated. So it's bricks or glass. And then with the bricks, you can do more bricks and lumber, so the lumber's easy, or make some of these components. Uh, likewise, the glass, bricks, and logs. I think we have so much glass. I think I like that option. So, Joyce would take another building something, and I don't want, I'm not too interested in stone. Alright, so I don't think we have, do we have a glass maker? We have the candle maker, we have a school. We got some housing over here. Don't think we have a glass maker set up, so let's continue getting some of our building supply stuff done. Cause that is important to get it started and going. Alright, so we want to make things. Alright, so we have glassworks and glassworks. Alright, kind of liking that one better. It is also like really close to the sand. <laughs> Not that the sand's getting stored there, but we could put in maybe another little storage stockpile something. That is going to take a bit of sand. So there's two more buildings that are going to be needed for uh, both of our building and houseware stuff. Okay. I'm going to let these guys build up all this stuff. So I had just found out we have our coal mine that's run out, so we'll get that going. And a bunch of merchants have come in and such. Got most of our things done. We got, ooh, we got hull components. That is sometimes a hard thing to find. Let's see, 
four and two. That works. So we have lots of things here built. We have our little corner bit here. You can change the color here. So that is an option maybe later on. We have to get some roof tiles and whatnot built, but we got the the wood and it's it lines up but it's slightly tiered over each level. We have all our various different townhouses that are done here. Got a little little bit of a dock thing working out over there. We have our village in here. Just somewhere over here, there we go. And our other bed and breakfast hostel there. So it's starting to get shaped up. I yeah, this is going to have to get changed. I'm afraid that it's going to be all brick colors. This this one might fit better. I don't want the dark brick color, but the, the white is a little too striking for me. <laughs> Anyhow, we have a couple of our little houses right here. We've got our other lodging, which would be our, our farm side lodging here. So we need a little bit of road access to them and some things that I've been kind of putting in that one of the other things is is there is some different kinds of plants and bushes and whatnot so this will take some time to get some of these little bits in here but I like this one because it is a kind of a ground cover kind of thing. It seems to be ghost, so I'll be careful with that, but at least you can get a little bit more greenery in some places that you might want a little bit more covered up. So I've been going around and getting a few of those types in. And so now we have our plenty of hostel options. <laughs> Too many, in fact, but we'll never need any more. We have a couple couple little houses being built there. Not to worry about that. And now we got our secondary bits of this getting built. So we'll have our glassworks and our furniture maker. And then we'll decide probably... Oh, we could do glassware here too. We'll see that. We'll see how how much glass they can do here. We can put more people in here. We can get more shore huts. So doing the glass would probably work out pretty well. We can get rid of some of those builders. We still got a few things that are being built here and keeping up on, on this sort of thing. Did get a couple more seeds. So that is uh, another good thing there. I don't think we need anything there yet. Our food actually seems to be doing pretty decently. We have added some homes, so we are gonna get more population in. Our health is and happiness has still gone down just a touch. And I still wanna get that in in and hopefully in get all that in next time because I wanna kind of get a few things Put in around here so I kind of get an idea and feel of how much space and and stuff that I have but we did get I think it was chickpeas and tomatoes and lentils I think those were the ones options that we got in so we can develop our farming area a little more over here as we go speaking of we can put something else in and get a person there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.